Uganda. Iran to help Uganda build nuclear power plant and oil refinery. The government of Iran has agreed to help Uganda develop its oil and nuclear power projects through technology sharing and financing. The 1,443-kilometer East African crude oil pipeline and the Uganda oil refinery, which are scheduled to be undertaken by French petroleum company Total Energies and the Ugandan and Tanzanian governments, are facing their second lawsuit this year by French and Ugandan human rights activists who claim the projects will harm the environment. The $4.5 billion oil refinery and pipeline will allow Uganda to transport its 6.5 billion barrels of oil reserves from the Albertine region in western Uganda to the port of Tanga in Tanzania on the Indian Ocean. According to the East African, Iranian President Ebrahim Raisi remarked, quote, when it comes to energy in general, and oil in particular, Iran enjoys expansive experience there, and we are ready to share this experience with Uganda." Unquote. According to the same source, Iran and Uganda are also in discussions to develop Uganda's first nuclear energy plant for industrialization. As per the East African, in accordance with Vision 2040, Uganda plans to generate 40,000 megawatts of electricity annually. Thus, Uganda aims to use Iran's nuclear power expertise to build a 2,000 megawatt nuclear power plant. Iran's Boucher nuclear power plant is the nation's first nuclear facility and has been operational since 2011. Russia helped Iran build the nuclear facility and share technology with the Near Eastern nation to enable it to run the facility by itself in two years. As reported by the East African, quote, President Yoweri Museveni told President Ebrahim Raisi that Uganda's agricultural products could come in constant supply, unquote. He added, quote, we are always ready to cooperate with Iran and the best area of cooperation is trade because the climate here is good and there is nothing on earth we cannot produce. We have the food, but our problem is the market for it." Unquote. During Raisi's state visit on Wednesday, July 12, 2023, Ugandan President Yoweri Museveni mentioned to Raisi that their nations could bypass Western sanctions and the U.S. dollar by conducting barter trading.